Hello, this is Bern, and if you've ever found yourself in a situation with a guy with despite your enthusiasm and heavy time investment, he just doesn't commit, I need you to know there's three essential elements that need to be in place without which he will waste your time and never commit. In today's video, I'm going to reveal what they are and what you can do moving forward so men willingly and happily commit to you. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to another edition of BernMendez.com. If this is your first time here and you'd like to learn how you can attract your ideal life partner without the need for gimmicks, manipulation, games, or silly techniques, hit the subscribe button right now so you can be notified of new episodes as they come out. There are a group of men who, no matter who you are, what you do, how amazing the connection is, will never ever commit. I am not intending to create a video for you to resuscitate the death, metaphorically speaking, meaning if you're connecting to one of these guys, that there's nothing I can do or say that will get them to commit. However, if you are stepping to the framework and if you have the three things that I'll be sharing in this video in place, then you can safely rule out that it's not you, that you've done your share, and you can walk away without regret knowing that if you step into the same level of virtues with somebody else, you might experience a completely different result. So very, very important for you to recognize that this is not a how to bring up someone from the other world type of situation. This is simply a way for you to step into the highest way of you connecting with a man that can spark something in him if it's not already activated and can get him to take consistent and willing action to commit. Because the last thing you want is for a guy to commit to you simply based on a uh, twisting of his arm or an ultimatum where he's saying, I'm gonna do it, but uh, it kinda sucks. You want him to feel enchanted. You want him to feel desire. You want him to feel like he wants to move things forward. That's the best type of connection. That is the best type of commitment because then it drives from within. You're not forcing anything on him. He's moving himself he feels that visceral connection to want to move things forward. Now, before I share this framework with you, if you're in a situation where you need to figure out how you can attract better men, that's not something I'm covering in this video, but I can share a free training that I created for you. If you go to the first link in the description of this video, you will see a page that looks like this. Enter your name and email, and you can start watching that free training right away. Now, the first element that needs to be in place if you want a guy to willingly commit to you is there needs to be a visceral connection which is made up of three different parts. Now, before I even go there, I wanna share that there's a continuum, there's a spectrum of commitment. The first level of commitment is a commitment to engage with you. Then the next mini commitment will be a commitment to go on a date with you. The next commitment will be uh, commitment to pursue you, then there's going to be a commitment to be in an exclusive relationship with you, and then there's going to be the ultimate commitment, which is spending the rest of his life with you. That's like the uh, big win, right? But you have to go through several steps before you get to that spot, and you can't really skip them. So the visceral connection that needs to be in place is an emotional connection, meaning he feels like you hear him, understand him, and there's a level of intensity not just physical, but emotional in the way you connect with each other. There's obviously a physical connection, which again, because it's going to graduate over time, at the beginning it might just be a sense of physical attraction, then it will be physical touch, then it will be making out, then it will be having sex, when you're ideally, when you're in an exclusive relationship. But the physical and emotional connection have to be in place. Now, depending on at what level you're playing life at, and also your spiritual beliefs, there's a spiritual connection as well, that if it's in place, then those three components, emotional, physical, and spiritual, have a lot to do with his willingness to take action, to move things forward, to not play hot and cold, because he knows internally he's missing on something if he doesn't connect with you, if he doesn't reach out, if he doesn't move things forward. Now, that's the first part of the equation, which sometimes, if that's all that exists, there's pain. I want you to write these things down, if not in paper, in your mind. <laughs> strong chemistry or strong visceral connection without shared values, without a shared vision for a relationship, equals suffering. Why? Because if you have a visceral connection with someone, but you don't share the type of relationship that you both are seeking is different, 
you're not really compatible in the way you do life, then you're going to end up feeling highly attached to each other in an embrace that might make you both feel challenged. Because if you want commitment and he doesn't, then you're always feeling rejected. You're always feeling like something's missing and he's always feeling like he's not good enough for you. The second part that needs to be in place is there needs to be compatibility. And when I talk about compatibility, there needs to be shared values. And not all values need to be shared, but the most important values, the things you close you hold dearest to your heart need to be shared between both of you. Shared dreams, a shared lifestyle, a shared life stage. And what's important to remember when you're talking about compatibility is that you never expect for someone to share everything with you. That would be a little bit boring at a certain point and maybe not enough spice to make the relationship work. If you have somebody who's very similar, for, very dissimilar from you, then the opposite things happen. You don't feel enough connection. So what you want is a healthy mix of things that you share and things that you don't share perhaps, but you want to make sure that there's no deal breakers. And what happens sometimes is what I call hidden deal breakers. Things that you haven't really discussed, things that are unclear in both of your senses of being that make him pull the brakes and say, I can move things forward. He might not be sharing that he can move things forward, but he might have something there. It might be that you share different religions and he feels like that would be a really big impediment later down the road. Maybe you have children and he doesn't get along with them and he knows that if he commits to you, he's committing to some situation that will be very painful. So he's just kind of uh, lukewarmish, not moving things forward. Maybe there's a discrepancy in the way you handle finances and he feels that committing to you at that level would be maybe financial suicide. So you need to make sure as you're evaluating the level of compatibility with someone, not just these are all the things we have alike, but are there things, whether spoken or unspoken, that are holding him back because doing so, moving things forward, would mean an emotional, financial, or spiritual suicide of some sort. The third thing that needs to be in place, and this is so important, so relevant, that if you get the three things then you're so much further ahead than most women who are seeking love is there needs to be an understanding of your value and this is comprised of a couple of different things the first thing is you need to understand your value because otherwise you can't express it you need to express your needs to him he needs to let you know which needs he can and which needs he can't meet and then you need to honor what's most important to you so what i mean by that in a nutshell is you need to understand what are your minimums and what are the things you need in order to progress in each part of the dating spectrum, whether it's hanging out with them, connecting, whether it's going on a date, whether it's being exclusive. You need to know what those things are for you and you need to be able to express them as boundaries. Here's what happens when you don't express boundaries. The guy does not value you. So a guy who connects with a woman that he feels visceral connection with, but doesn't really value at the high level because she hasn't really shared, here's where I draw the line, he feels he can actually see her, not see her, call her, not call her, uh, have sex with her and forget about her, or have sex with her maybe perhaps before there's any level of commitment to her. He doesn't value what she is worth. It's similar to the rich kid in the school that gets a fancy car for his 16th birthday and because he never learned the value of earning something he crashes the Range Rover into the woods and then he gets a new one right so he needs to understand at a fundamental level that you're a woman of value that you're someone who understands her worth and is willing if needed to walk away for what she believes in that's when a guy gets to understand you know what that's someone I can sign up for because she makes me more valuable she holds me accountable to my greatness i can't just do as i please with her and that makes me a better man meaning not any guy not any clown can get her so if i connect with her and if i cre create a relationship with her that makes me a more unique and more distinguished human being the, the reason why this thing needs to be in place is because you can have lots of compatibility but if there's not a strong visceral connection that's like a best friend a caveat here you may not have the strong visceral connection from the start, which is a huge mistake so many women are making today. You may have fallen for the myth that you have to, your heart has to explode when you meet eyes with them. And if you don't, then it's never going to happen. And I think that you may be leaving lots of great guys on the table because you might, through time, feel a strong visceral connection with someone at the three levels 
that if you had simply judged based on, oh, my heart is not super excited to meet this guy right now because he's not my physical type or maybe he's not the, the guy I imagined all, all along, then you might miss out on the best relationship of your life. If you have a strong visceral connection, but doesn't, the guy doesn't understand your value, then he's going to play games with you whether he knows it or not. If you have a strong sense of self and the ability to share basically with a guy, here's my boundaries and here's what you need to step up to them, but there's no connection of the visceral kind, there's no spark, then why would he sign up to buy an expensive ticket to a concert of who's, I mean, when he doesn't enjoy the music, right? So you need to start from first and foremost understanding how you can show up in relationship to yourself, in relationship to men, in a way where your highest self, your radiant self, your expressive self shines. Then you need to figure out how to understand through time, which means you're going to have to date the guy multiple times before you really decide if he's worth the investment or not, and vice versa. You need to figure out who he is, what he values, what his life is about, what his goals are, what his dreams are. And then you need a way to express what your needs are to him so he can either step up and value you the way you need to or say, I can do this and move away but not do the in-between. If this is helpful to you and you want to go further than this video, then make sure to check out the free training on the first line in the description of this video. If you enjoyed the video, click like and thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. And if you want my hand holding and help, second link on the description will allow you to apply to work with me. Thank you so much for showing up. And as always, I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.